Witness number one, accurately copied. Lots of people say things like, well, the Bible's changed over the years. It's, it's just like sort of Chinese whispers. You know, a kid whispers a message into another kid's ear and they pass it all the way down the line and at the end of the line you've got a different message to the original one. Now it is true that we've, we've never seen an actual hand-written document of Moses or David or Paul or, or any of the other Bible writers. We don't have the original, often called a, a, an autograph copy. But there are some very good reasons why we can be sure that the Bible we have now is an accurate reproduction of the original. In other words, what we read is what the author wrote. Look at this diagram, for instance. This is how it works. Paul, a writer of the New Testament, writes a letter and he writes it to an individual church. And that church copies it to other churches. So Paul's original uh, letter is written to this church and they copy it and you've got this whole line of one line of copy we call it church a let's say and then from this copy there are other copies taken and as there are over here other copies taken now when you come to the earliest copies you can find if the copy has come through this route is the same as the copy that's come through this route, if these two are the same, you can guarantee that they are accurate copies of the original. And that's what we've got in the Bible. Let's think about the first part of the Bible, the Old Testament. Now, to listen to many people talk, you'd get the impression that the scribes who copied uh, the Old Testament scriptures out sort of did their work at odd moments and with half a mind on their task. But the Jewish scribes had remarkable rules about copying. The size of the pages or the size of the scrolls, uh, the size of the columns, spaces between the words and the letters, um, rules about the color of the ink, uh, rules about you could only copy from an authorized manuscript and you couldn't deviate from that manuscript in the, in the least bit. So no word, not even a letter, not even what they called a jot, a little dot of a letter. Uh, was to be written from memory. So for instance, um, uh, if they were writing out in the beginning God created the world, they wouldn't write that sentence out from memory as we would, in the beginning God created the world and then we'd look down and write it out. They would have to write letter by letter, count the letters up. So it would be in, I, I, N, N, one, two, gap, the, T, T, H, H, and so forth, until they'd written the whole sentence out. And even the middle number of a particular Old Testament book that they were writing was counted. And then they had to count to make sure that they had the, the same number of letters in, uh, in their copy. If there was one error at any point, their whole copy was destroyed and they had to start again. And then when the new copy was checked and found to be accurate, the old copy was destroyed um, in case the paper or the scroll that they were writing on deteriorated and, and they'd, they'd lose some words. That's the Old Testament. It's come down to us accurately. The New Testament, let's have a think about that. Now the early church didn't copy the New Testament out under the same rules as the Jewish scribes, but there are two reasons to show that we can trust the New Testament manuscripts. The two reasons are this. One, the amount of manuscripts that we've got, copies that we've got, and the gap between when it was originally written and the earliest known uh, copy, the earliest known manuscript. Have a look at this diagram that's come up here and you'll see how the New Testament compares to other ancient documents. It's amazingly different. So, for instance, uh, we've got a number of ancient writers here that the, uh, the historians would say are accurate copies. What we read now is what they wrote. So Homer, for instance, who wrote the Iliad, his, uh, he wrote that back here. And 500 years until we get the earliest known copy, 
So there's a 500 year gap between when Homer wrote the Iliad and the earliest known copy. And there are only 643 copies. So there's a 500 year gap before these 643 copies. Look at the New Testament. We have 24,000 copies <laughs> and the gap between the original autograph writing and the earliest known copies is between 40 and 90 years. Uh, look at Plato, famous philosopher. There's a 1,200 year gap between, <laughs> between when he wrote and the earliest copies we have. We only have seven copies of Plato, 24,000 copies of the New Testament. Caesar's Gallic Wars, you've got a thousand years between when Caesar wrote his own history um, to the earliest copies. We only have uh, 10 copies of Caesar's Gallic Wars, a thousand years difference, 24,000 copies in the New Testament, uh, 40 to 90 years difference. Do you see it? Uh, the renowned Bible scholar, Professor F.F. F. Bruce, he writes this, the New Testament is easily the best attested ancient writing in terms of the sheer number of documents, the time span between the events. There is nothing in ancient manuscript evidence to match such textual availability and integrity. There's another thing about the uh, New Testament that gives further witness to its accuracy, and that is the early Christian preachers and the early Christian teachers. Now we're talking about AD 100 to AD 450. Did you know, for instance, that even if we didn't have any of the 24,000 documents of the New Testament, you could get the entire New Testament from these early church pastors, early church writers, from their writings, except for about 15 verses, you've got the entire New Testament, because they wrote it out in their books. Uh, Sir, Fedri Sir Frederick uh, Kenyon, who was the former director and principal librarian of the British Museum, one of the foremost experts on ancient manuscripts and their authority, shortly before his death, he wrote this uh, concerning the New Testament. Uh, he said, both the authenticity and the general integrity of the books of the New Testament may be regarded as finally established. In other words, you can know that what was originally written is what you can read now. 